children welcome to sunday club well i tell you what you better get your marching boots on because it's time to enter jericho to Sunday Club. Thank you that and I'm glad you've been enjoying the story of Joshua so far and his all his wonderful adventures and carrying out God's plan and his total obedience to God. Every time he's obedient to God, everything goes according to plan. Now Joshua sent out two spies to Jericho to go and find out what the land was like and how they can plan a strategy to defeat um, Jericho and they got back to Joshua and they told Joshua what they had seen and how wonderful the city is and how beautiful the whole place was and that the people were petrified and Joshua said good means that we're you know we're ready to go on the battle but I need to get God's strategy so while Joshua walked towards Jericho to pray and contemplate he had an encounter with a strange man on a horse strong big mighty warrior looking guy and joshua was afraid and took, was taken aback he said are you for us or against us and the man looked at joshua and said i'm not for you or against you i am of the lord's army and joshua knew that that was an, a divine encounter joshua got the instructions of how he should attack jericho he had the strategies given to him he was to walk around the city of Jericho seven times, march around six days silently, and on the seventh day, he was to make a, a loud noise, and the people of the Jericho were to shout, and they were agreed. So they, Joshua thought, wow, what a fantastic plan. When they got to, he went and told the people, the leaders of Israel, like, this is God's plan, and they agreed and God said remember when you conquer Jericho do not take any of their gods or their false images of God and Joshua agreed and told all the soldiers this they went into Jericho they went to Jericho they marched around the wall six times with the ark in front of them followed by the priests followed by the soldiers on the seventh day they blew the trumpet and shouted as loud as they can across and the wall of Jericho came tumbling down, down and down. And the army marched in and destroyed everything and burnt down everything. But the house of Rahab was safe. And Salmon, the soldier that came as by, went in and got Rahab and her family out and took them to the Israelite camp. Now, God has said that they mustn't take anything. But Achan, one of the soldiers, and he took some idols and stole a lot of treasures from Jericho's palace and brought it back to the Israeli camp. And then he dug a hole in his tent and hid it there. Now, they felt they had a good 
victory over Jericho, therefore fighting the next city would not be a problem. But when they went to Ai, which was a smaller city and less soldiers than Jericho, they were defeated. They lost the battle so badly that they came running out and retreated. When they got back to camp and they were like, wow, what happened? What? And God said to Joshua, why are you sad? Why are you lamenting? It is because there's a, there's a sin in the camp that you lost. Somebody disobeyed my commandments. And God told Joshua who it was. And as God told Joshua and the family of Achan was swallowed up by the ground. And next time, the whole of that time, the whole of people of Israel repented and praised the Lord and cleansed himself. And they went back to fight I and they won a victory over I really fast. And Joshua's fame spread across Jericho and El and all the cities around Jericho that made up Jericho. They were really scared of Joshua and the army of the Lord. So they were totally defeated. This shows that, wow, if we listen to God and follow God's instructions, things usually go right. So let's keep that in mind, children. Thank you. We've been hearing how Joshua went round Jericho and the walls came crashing down when they blew the horns and marched round. So we, just to remind you of that story, we're going to make a horn today. We might be able to play it, we'll have to see. So what we need is the horn printout. It's best to print it in, on card, but paper will probably do. Some sellotape, scissors, some glue, and of course, some crayons. So, the first thing to do is colour in and decorate your horn. Now, that's one I've done earlier. So then, I'm just going to cut it out. Next thing we need to do is to bend along this little dotted line so we've got a little space to glue things so let's bend it over so then we've got a little gluing tab like that next thing we want to do is to put a bit of sellotape just on that bit there because that's where you're going to blow it and if it gets wet it gets a bit soggy and horrible so so we'll just put a little bit over the end there just enough to cover that last bit. So smooth that down. Now the next thing we have to do is glue along here. Then we put the two pieces together. Probably easier to flatten it down. Then you just leave to need to leave it to for the glue to harden. So Here's one I've done earlier, I haven't decorated this one. And I've put another piece of sellotape around the end there, just to make extra protection. So there we have our horn. Shall we try and blow it? No walls have fallen down, so we're all right. But if you follow what God says, great things can happen. Bye. It's time for the memory verse again. Can you remember it from last week? It said, Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Can you remember the actions? Let's try it. One, two, three. Be strong and courageous. 
Hello children, we're going to say a prayer in a minute, so get yourself somewhere comfortable and somewhere quiet where you can talk to God. Instead of using battering rams and weapons to conquer Jericho, they used prayer and praise. It's important to remember that prayer works, so we're going to pray now. I'm going to say a bit, then we can repeat it together. So put your hands together and close your eyes, we're going to talk to God. Dear God, Thank you for what we've learnt today. Dear God, thank you for what we've learnt today. We pray that you will help us make the right choices this week. We pray that you will help us make the right choices this week. We pray that we can be strong and courageous because you are always there for us. We pray that we can be strong and courageous because you are always there for us that we will remember to pray and praise you for all you do for us, that we will remember to pray and praise you for all you do for us. Amen. Amen. Okay, thank you children. Have a nice week. Bye. Hello again. Did you have fun with your marching? Well, hope you did. Goodbye. And I'll catch up with you guys next week. Bye.